we have to remember why we're doing this and why we make any changes, I think, in our school system these days. It's because everything in the school should have purpose and intention. And it's about the children. And I think we've heard that in, in almost all of our sessions today. It really is what's best for them, not necessarily what's the most comfortable for the adults in the building. And so working through this whole idea of the learning commons is it really is taking, uh, asking us to take a look at what traditionally have we thought of in terms of a library and where we are going. And anytime we have change, we are deleting what is not working to support students' learning, success, and adopting a new way that has the promise of increased student learning results. And when you ask people to change, you are asking them to give up their sense of competence for a while. And whether you're asking your teacher librarian in your school, the library tech who works in the school, the parent who volunteers, or your teachers and students, it's, it's really taking a look at, um, they may feel a little uneasy. We have to be prepared to go through that. I liken this to having a sweet spot where there's that optimum for a certain action to take place. And I think the learning commons can be the sweet spot for much of our work right now. I think it's a place to maybe engage more conversation in around the learning and technology policy framework that we've had since 2013. We've got the learning commons policy that's 2014. We have the uh, ministerial order and this is the ARPDC uh, visual on it with the literacy and the competencies. Right hand corner we have the new CTF curriculum with the Career and Technology Foundations and I think there's great work coming out of that with maker spaces and lots of the work that they can do in the learning commons. High school redesign can have a great influence when you're starting to take a look at, at, at that. And then that whole learner centered learning. So depending if I'm talking about the CTF, I put that as a sweet spot. Today it's the learning commons. So I think they can be easily interchanged. So what is the learning commons? Comes out of the learning, the, it's to support students in attaining the goals and standards stated in the ministerial order. And school authorities must ensure that students have access to a learning commons. So it's a pretty bold statement. And then people have to say, well, what does that mean? If this is what school authorities must ensure, what does it look like? And when I, I, what I like about the policy is it's right to the point. There's not a lot of additive language in there, but it's going to take a lot of unpacking, I think, with staffs. And you, we have to remember this is not just the responsibility if you have a teacher librarian or a library tech or a couple of teachers. It needs to be the entire staff looking at what is our learning commons going to look like and how are we going to use it. So it's an inclusive, flexible, learner-centered, physical and or virtual space for collaboration, inquiry, imagination and play to expand and deepen learning. 